Hey folks, uh, welcome to another challenge. Uh, we're playing, oh damn, we're playing Blue Black in Pioneer this weekend for a change. And, uh, yeah. Round one just started. And I'm playing against my friend. Monsieur Cafouillette. So, blue, black, mirror. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, that hand is, uh, it's not a good sign. Okay. Hey, my key. Well, thank you for the sub. Nine months. Thank you for continued support. Yeah, mirror match. Okay. Mirror match against uh, my friend, not. Uh, Not what I was hoping for, but uh... Okay, I think we... Okay, that's uh, not good. What can we do? Mm. 
can try to draw cards to find the uh, soul shatter but uh, I imagine this is going to be met by counter magic so I think our best chance is to play the horror But this is just gonna yeah take out like a fill push from his hand. Then even just gets countered. Or maybe Chump with a shark typhoon is actually the best thing we can do. I have your poser. Hey, Manuel Carinana. Thoughts about airtime. Uh, playing one. Uh, I like it. Let's say it's a. Uh, doesn't make any card advantage, but uh, it's got really good versatility. So. Yeah, I like the versatility in the tempo you get. But maybe I should even play another. Okay. Don't like the draw to discard one spell. I've tried it, found it uh, underwhelming. But, uh, basically, it doesn't draw too often enough. And uh, and uh, yeah, draw to discard one for two mana is uh, super expensive. I'd rather play opt than draw two, discard one for two, and uh, so yeah, the decider is gonna depend on the, whether or not you're drawing two cards often enough, and uh, how much you don't, or at least that's how I feel uh, about it right now. But uh, I'd rather play. Yeah, I've been the most happy with Behold the Multiverse in that slot, basically. Like I'm playing Behold the Multiverse over. Uh, I've tried Frantic Inventory. I've tried Tainted Indulgence. 
and uh, yeah, I really like Behold. To a point that I'm playing four copies. Mm. Oh no, not Scarab God. Mm. Okay, I think all these cars are pretty decent. It's your issue. 75 cards mirror no not exactly we have, a, we have some differences okay that one doesn't like uh behold as much as i do so basically i think he's playing more copies of uh opt or consider oh yeah i even forget about uh Conce playing consider actually yeah Yeah, maybe his opt should be considered well it's so close. Mm. Okay, we need to get five cards. Uh, what are the candidates? I think one fail push maybe, but yeah, probably one fail push. Suppose hers. Maybe two is a lot. Yeah, two feels like a lot. Like your Hulk, I want to say no anyway. Let's just play one hearse. Cut and make disappear. We need to cut two more. Like reversal is. I don't know if it still has the. The six mana. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut reversal and then one last cut. I think I'll cut the sensor. I'll go first of the sideboard. Blue sky. Thinking of drawing, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we. I'm not sure. And I would save a blue white mirror in modern. Feel confident about going first after sideboard. But you know, you've got stuff like Time Raveler. Hey, I would say, yeah, we're gonna lay lands for you for a long time, so. Search for Ascanta in Pioneer. Um, I basically have never been a fan of Search for Ascanta. I 
like any format is been legal in. I found the card. And he said, yeah, too slow. But the two mana investment on turn two. Well, actually, you know, should have played Deluge well. If he has the Cure Hulk, it doesn't really matter, it's probably the end anyway. But uh, yeah, search for Ascanta. I feel like it just doesn't do enough. But... Okay, I'm gonna fight here. Like he, he didn't have the Gearhawk. Maybe he's low on cards. Be our would be our chance. Yeah, I feel like I have to go for uh, all the merfolk here. It's probably not gonna work, but uh, well, that's our best shot. Impulse, make its way into decks or not yet. Uh, people keep asking about impulse. But uh, Impulse is just, I mean, it's not a bad card for a control deck, but it's a uh, Tawara. I mean, there, there are better options than Impulse. Like, Impulse is... Just mediocre for a control deck. How appealing is the new removal spell? Cut down. Uh, not super appealing, I would say. I mean, for Pioneer or, uh, or Modern. Yeah, as uh, Monsieur Cafoyet told me, I think it feels like a disfigure kind of, uh, which is not bad, but uh, nothing to be excited about. Uh, okay, what? Well, he has no lands, so at most one. Well, I would say Tawara is our best bet. Tawara, and then top deck Shark Typhoon maybe trade the sh trade a, a shark for a tie. I think that's the only way we can come back. Oh hey Wiki, yeah it's been a long time. How are you? Uh, how are you winning in Legacy? Mm. 
or that one. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. I always hand a little risky. And going down to six. No, I feel like the keep was okay. Maybe. Maybe should have, uh, yeah, maybe going second in the matchup is uh, possibly better. Unlike in modern, but. And, uh, yeah, game one, no, game one, nothing I could do. Maybe could have gone second this game, but, yeah, given how, uh, how things turned out. Taking a pause during summer. Big tournament in Italy next weekend. Okay. In Legacy, I suppose. Have you tried Esper? Uh, I did. I've played a bit of Esper. Hmm. The thing is, I'm yeah, I'm torn between yeah, Esper, Blue Black. Uh, at least Esper. Well, at least what I like about Blue Black is the mana base. Blue Black has a great mana base, and I would say it's usually what tips the scales, the mana base. You know, so unless unless you really want a three color, that you're really getting something out of it. Sticking to. Uh, To a two-color shell it may actually be be better, and uh, yeah, only playing one copy of their tie. But I feel like it's a good addition to the deck. The so four season, four season is the location, right? Is it the same organizer, like the, the legacy company? Hey, JB Mage. Uh, why Zareth? Uh, I wanted another threat against Red Black. And uh, yeah, we're trying that one. Against Red Black, against... Uh, in the control mirrors as well. Theo is a guy from Bologna. Uh, what what's the buy-in? There's there's been some controversy about the uh, about the event coming up in Paris in a, in a week. Okay, so twenty five euros. That's it's, that's unexpected. <laughs> Yeah, 20. <laughs> Thoughts on the new two black domain draw spell. Oh, is that the read the bones? Hmm. Do I get it? If I type domain. Oh, it's an instant. Okay, I thought if this was a sorcery. Oh, 
Okay, I missed that card. Yeah, I I don't know why. I thought this was a sorcery. So if you're playing two colors, it's draw two, lose two. Damn, lose two is pretty bad though. But yeah, that's definitely not bad. Yeah, if you're playing, if you're playing Esper, you're playing three colors. So you look at three, you take two. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try. But you know, weirdly, when you're playing control deck, you're you're kind of interested in gaining life as a side effect. So yeah, you you, but. So you don't usually play cards that gain life. It's usually not that big of a of a thing. But losing life, <laughs> losing life is a big deal. <laughs> Especially if you can gain any, like in that blue black deck. Going to Bologna, yeah, that's... Mm, maybe one day, yeah. Yeah, so read the bones, but instant speed. Well, that's definitely something that uh, that we can be interested in. But tempo-wise, it's much better than Behold the Milivers. Not sure about it in a blue-black shell, or maybe maybe one of. Yeah, you probably don't. It's difficult to play. Yeah, you don't want too many. Basically, you don't want to draw multiples. Which Jabber played yesterday, don't like the card. Maybe in Esper. Like in Esper, you have the third color, so you get to look at three cards instead of two. It makes the card better. You're also playing Absorb, so the life loss is uh, less of a problem. Have you considered Lock Me a Serpent? I have. I have. It's basically worse than Torrential, you Hulk. Or if I'd played one, it would be instead of a Gear Hulk. But it feels like more of a sideboard car, like maybe against Phoenix it could be. Yeah, I would be happy about it against Phoenix, but I think everywhere else it is worse. You know, maybe in the mirror, it's also uh, like against Blue White. Maybe better than Gihog because you can bring, yeah, you can just cast it, the counter it, doesn't matter, it, you can have it, get it back. Oh, hey, the big boy. Thank you for the sub. Uh, reason to go Soul Shatter over Heroes on the Fall. Yeah, there is. Uh, first of all, Soul Shatter is single black, whereas Dawn Fall is double black, and Soul Shatter almost always kills what you want. 
so I think the mana cost being easier makes it better already. But then you have the making the opponent sacrifice means that it gets through the through the ward of the of the trespasser. Yeah, and also against Lotus it can kill the Sphinx that uh, they usually bring in that has X proof. Why no indulgence? Uh, I said I tried it. Basically found it worse than art, as in... Well, if it's not powered up, it is worse than up, like draw two, discard one for two, it is worse than scry one, draw a card for one. And it doesn't draw two often enough to uh, Yeah, for me to play it. Well, I suppose, yeah, it could be... If I played some, yeah, I could see a couple, maybe instead of up then, but... What's the curve? No, it's gonna be difficult to draw two cards with it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it does feel to be. I mean, draw two, discard one is a better effect than cry one, draw a card, but when you pay, you have to pay twice the price, so then it's not a good bargain anymore. And it's. Yeah. Prefer Behold of a Deluge. Well, it's, it's because of the curve. Like, I really value the ability of Behold to be, uh, to be foretold. That, and it can be flashbacked with Gearhulk, plus, you know, drawing multiple copies of Deluge. Yeah, you... You're almost never going to get the full value in the second deluge. But uh, I know I would say deluge is the better card, but... I'd rather draw... I mean... Behold still nets you two cards for four mana with uh, with some extra digging and uh, yeah I'd rather have a Behold and a Deluge than a drawing two Deluge and yeah doing something on turn two is like thing is negate there are some matchups where negate is just not Well, it's just not a card, or at least not on turn two, and then you find yourself with uh, not much to do. So the ability to to already pay half of your four drop. So that's the reason. I could see three and three, maybe. And yeah, that's true. It also happens in the in the mid game. Sometimes you pay half the cost of behold, like you have five mana, you pay half of build, and then you hold up sabotage, and then you can decide on their turn. If you if you play the sabotage, you've already paid half the cost of your uh, four mana card drawer. Too many hearse in sideboard games now. I don't know, I haven't played a 
a lot of pioneer but uh, yeah I've dropped the goop blank that I had playing two hearse instead the reason being I'd say there are two matchups where you want the hearse or you want some graveyard hate you have Phoenix obviously and then you have uh, uh, what's the name of the rat like the vehicle deck combo deck trying to bring back vehicles with a rat and uh, well in that matchup the hearse is really superior to go blank I feel because uh, and yet it's a bit of the same against Phoenix that I've found that go blank they can usually recover pretty well like you resolve go blank they untap they just go pieces of pieces of the puzzle that they've been uh, keeping just for uh, for that scenario and then uh, it's almost as if you did not attack the graveyard whereas hers keeps uh, a constant pressure all game long so I found that much better against Phoenix and obviously much better against Greasefang because uh, you know they just need to put one vehicle in the bin for uh, Chris Fung to be very threatening. So two hers, no go blank. Did I miss any comment? Oh yeah, not enough country for dig through time. Uh... Yeah, I've moved away from Dig Through Time a long time ago. Maybe I should reconsider. But I, I did not like making my graveyard more vulnerable, and making my deck more vulnerable to graveyard hate than it already is. Like we have Gearhawk, if you start putting Dig Through Time too, then suddenly a single hearse can be, can be backbreaking. And uh, yeah, behold the ability to tell and turn two we've already talked about, and uh, well, deluge is deluge is great. Does not rely on the graveyard. It has a flashback. No, no dig through time. I could see one, but not even sure. having a hard time beating Mono Green with this deck. Mm. Not sure what to say, I don't have a... haven't played that many games. But uh, I agree that against Mono Green... No, what I, like, I, I feel that Blue Black is better than Blue White against Mono Green. Because uh, Extinction Event and Shadow's Verdict are much better, your Sweepers are much better. Maybe you're sideboarding wrong. I know I would do... Yeah, I'm trying second Verdict for the Mono Green matchup, actually. I mean, Mono Green, uh, Red, Black, and White Weenie. So, sideboard plan would be bringing Shadow's Verdict. Maybe one Thought Sees, one Dispute. That's it. And take out. I'm not a fan of Fail Push. Especially on the play. And probably trim some Typhoons. Including incidental graveyard hate is almost free. Yeah, exactly. That that's what hers is. Like when you're playing against an aggressive deck, if you have hers in the sideboard, and hers is it's a good threat as well as uh, it it handles your opponent's graveyard as well as being a threat. So mm. 
And that's what made me move away from Dig Through Time, but maybe I... Maybe that's wrong, I don't know. Your people don't always bring in hers against the blue-black. Basically have a couple Gearhulk, that's it. But hers is still a threat that has to be handled, so... Don't find four Typhoons too much in some matchups. Mm. Not really. Or oh, maybe against Mono Green, yeah. Against Mono Green, that's not how you want to interact with them. So like I said, yeah, that's one of the cards that I will look to take out. But except in the Mono Green matchup, I think I'm pretty... Against Red Black, I'm happy to have four. Against Spirits, the card is insane. Against In the Blue Mirror, all four. That's what I want. Against Phoenix, I don't mind all four. Against Burn, yeah, against Mono Red, I suppose it's not, uh, it's pretty slow and not very impactful. But, uh, yeah, Mono Red, Mono Green, maybe I have two matchups where I'm unhappy about playing four. So that would mean I, would, I want four in my 75, and uh, yeah, probably three or four in the main deck. Like cling to dust in blue black. I I tried it at first. I really wasn't sold. Like I said, the yeah the two matchups where you won graveyard hate against. I suppose against Grease Fang, card has to be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should try one again. I mean, being a fan of Fink twice. I suppose, yeah, I could give a uh, cling to dust another shot. Oh, hey, Nims of Witch. Thank you for the continued support. Yeah, one cling over an opt. Also, second, yeah, if we put one cling over an opt, second opt. We have an extra land, land number 26. Okay, one match left. should work but doesn't feel good uh yeah i agree it doesn't feel good i mean the problem i had with it is that if you get it in your opener you cannot cycle it right away you have to usually have to wait some which is pretty annoying And uh, I can't remember a match where I was, you know, escaping it and burying them under cards. It just did not happen. It's too slow or when it could matter or... <laughs> Eating a storm festival. Suppose, in theory. But the thing is, against Monogreen, like... When you're eating storm festivals, it means that you've already survived all the early turns. You've countered that storm festivals. It's like we're talking about yeah. When they're flashbacking storm festivals, at that point, most of the time, haven't you already won or lost? What do you think about the new one, Summon with Kicker? Mm. Don't know what that is, but 
and salmon is not uh, not something not something uh, you're usually interested in when you're playing control oh no you mean that card oh yeah 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 so yeah i, I would uh i would call it the other way around like more of a vraska's contempt with the one mana mode instead of getting the two life uh, yeah not uh, not bad but the way I usually evaluate the model spells is that you really you really want to be interested in one mode for the card to be good like Alchemist's Charm you have uh, draw, draw two cards for three mana at instant speed you're really interested in that and stealing something you're also really interested in that so that's two great modes like the cancel mode it, it turns out that you use the cancel mode pretty often but what makes the card great first of all like for a model spell to be good you, you want one of the modes to be uh, to be something you really want and here in the one mana mode we would not play if the card was just that and the four mana mode we would not play either i think i'd, I'd rather play air tie instead and uh you know or soul shatter i think it's basic it's worse than these cards okay playing against game night And clearly, we run the risk of uh, getting run over without having done anything with that hand, but you know, not, not knowing what we're up against, keeping why is there a sign in the sideboard? Uh, it is for uh, an extra threat in the black red matchup. But I wanted to try. Con. Okay, notice. Thoughts about control with a new expansion. Okay, I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Yeah, I've never seen no. Hmm. They've played two four mana walkers, maybe they play Liana too. That's okay. So yeah, thoughts about control. Well, I would say much the same than they that they were uh, before, which is uh, control is maybe not very well positioned, given. Uh, Kind of magic or spot removal is not great. And the cheap ones. Just mono green Vraska, yeah, looks like it. Another Vraska. You know, let's say no. Oh wait, actually, Soul Shatter could have uh, dealt with that.
suppose it can deal with the next planeswalker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So six, five would be a five, five. Yeah, Wreck is where Soul, Ma Soul Shadow won't kill what you want exactly if you have a Manland. Yeah, it's not good at killing Manland. If they have something else. Okay. Actually, maybe we go Soul Shatter plus Behold, yeah, that's better because if we don't draw removal, we can just protect the card. Okay. We have keeping everything. Vanishing Verse is pretty well positioned right now. Yeah, I agree. I really like Vanishing Verse. I think that was the reason I splashed black when I played blue-white. So, yeah, I definitely like uh, Vanishing Verse. Damn, damn. How many Planeswalkers do they, do they play? Yeah, okay. Look. Mm. Forgot to cycle there. But, uh, yeah, looks like we're in pretty good shape. And they basically need to top deck every turn. If they miss a bit, we just flash back Deluge. But yeah, it's possible Esper is better than uh, Blue Black or uh, or Blue White has a uh, yeah Vanishing versus really is a card I really like too. Pass. Okay.
Yeah, I suppose I could have played Field of Ruin first. But, uh, okay. Okay, some mana green, so we want the verdict. Maybe a thought says, I think this pute can be good. Like it's an extra cancel. They're playing a pretty expensive deck and Kyora cost uh, Kyora is blue. So I mm, think that's it. Yeah, what do we think about these cards? So they play Vraska. I'm really not a fan of fail push. Basically only good if you have it in your opener with untapped black turn one. After that, kills an elf when it doesn't matter anymore. Maybe a man lands, so... I'm gonna play one, trim a typhoon. And uh, do we want any of these two instead of another typhoon? I'm afraid they may go over Scarab God. With all the planeswalkers, you know, if you go Scarab God, like, of course, it's good on an empty board. But I expect to be behind. And then you play Scarab God, they play Stone Festival, they add something else to the board. What about this guy? If it connects. At least it's got flash. 4-4 four, four is not good against Troll though. So... I think... Getting Vraska back, I'm not sure it does much for us. But getting Khan. So it was getting Khan blocks their... Uh... Their artifact activations, yeah, maybe, maybe... Like Shark Typhoon isn't super exciting. Okay, happy to see Oath of Nissan turn one and uh, not an elf. I think we're gonna wait for turn two for the Thought Seas. Okay. Control and storms. I think we're taking the card. The problem is Yeah, Karen knows. 
pretty bad, so... Something wrong with the sound? Okay, apparently not. What do you think about Kalitas in the sideboard? Did we get Khan actually? Okay. Mm, yeah, Kalitas is is something you can play. I've not been happy about it. I think I liked it only against mono red, basically. And even there, they can have the counter play of four mana Chandra. That is pretty bad, so. Okay, I suppose, uh, no, if we foretell, we will get the statue, right? Yeah, I think we pass, because if we foretell, we get the statue. So we're kind of hoping they go for Storm the Festivals and break. My <laughs> things are looking pretty grim. I suppose a fail or push would have been much better than a, than a verdict. Maybe we could do to Typhoon to fill push. Or maybe a second eliminate, better than second push. Like since we're on the play, eliminate is fine to kill the turn one elf. No. No. Also, we haven't seen any Kyora. Maybe, maybe you don't play any. Oh, man, that's a great hand, like a perfect hand. Yeah, we have to play Vraska instead of something else. But yeah, Kalitas have to sideboard and in the sideboard. Yeah, I wasn't super happy about it basically.
What do we play here? Probably go with a sensor. We are less more likely to have a Actually, since we had a typhoon, maybe okay, one card left. And they had Nyctos in hand, so it's probably not a cavalier. So maybe storm the festivals or another land. So what are we cycling the typhoon? We can like that. We have a negate already. And uh, yeah, we can start attacking. I already at fourteen. Yeah, they shot three times. I think I let me get here because it only covers the uh, non creature stuff. Yeah, I think we just want lands. Like we have our tie to kind of the next spell. And then. Uh... Then we have Gihulk a turn after that. Okay, here we're attacking, yeah, we're playing the tie, killing the wolf, killing an elf. And that should uh, force again three. Now yeah, Thais seems underwhelming in standard, really? No, oh, I would say the design is... Uh, can we kind of that? No, we can't. Oh, the design looks pretty good to me. I mean... I'd say it's comparable to Venser. In some ways, mm. but uh, it doesn't make any any card advantage. But it's really good tempo. What? Yeah, I was wondering today win two games. No, did did they misclick? Like, did they scoop? the match oh no game two no i won two games damn i don't even remember what happened oh yeah no i remember okay yeah that was game three already <laughs> and sometimes i forget but yeah no air ties No, I really like it. 
think they, they've never done no i think they already did like four mana kill a creature or planeswalker or counter spell have they done that already don't think they have But yeah, four mana one for one, even with all the versatility, is a bit weak, so you get a 3-2 on top of that and they get a card, which is uh, usually a really good thing for you, tempo-wise. That tie seems nuts. Yeah, I think it's good. Almost played two. Like instead of a, instead of a soul shatter, second a tie, but I was worried about the curve, and also the fact that it is legendary, so drawing multiple copies can be a problem. Is there a reason not to play this all the sabotage? No, you're right. Uh, probably this opt should have been considered since we're playing, or at least, yeah, you know, this should match. <laughs> Either play consider and sabotage or opt and dissolve. Uh, question being, with a couple torrential gear hulk in the deck, yeah, I think you're probably better off playing Consider and Sabotage, so this opt should be Considers. A random card is weaker than whatever you're trying to color or kill. Yeah, exactly. Any favorites from uh, Dominaria yet? Mm, not really. Like the all the lords seem super powerful, especially you know the the ones from the the, the mainstream tribes, like Merfolk. Yeah, the Merfolk lord so much text the elf lord the goblin lord too they all look so good any reason pioneer control decks don't seem to play dev spells um I would say, I mean, the only dev del spell I can really think of is dig through time. That's the debate. So it's basically dig through time versus memory deluge. Thing is, playing dig through time, you have to make some sort of commitments, like play some. Uh, a plus set of consider that you would not necessarily play otherwise first of all then you have to to contend with uh, you know unlicensed hers I think has changed things a little bit made cards relying on the graveyard worse overall because it's a uh, it's kind of a free wall, like you can side it in, you can even main deck it. It's not a card that only cares about the graveyard. So, and uh, yeah, I would say it made dig through time worse. And uh, blue white also always had the problem that it plays rest in peace in the sideboard, which which is awkward when you're playing against Phoenix. Like dig through time is, I mean, yeah, dig through time is supposed to be one of your best cards, ex except you're gonna bring in rest in peace. But the thing is, they don't have a deck that falls to rest in peace, so 
what what do you do? Do you bring in to rest in peace and take out your dick through time? Or do you keep them because they're good, but then maybe you play without rest in peace and you still lose because you have dick through time in your hand that you that it's just so bad or it and ends up just running into spell pills when you played for eight? The deluge works much better with dig through time. I mean, before there was deluge, people played dig through time, but now that we have deluge, yeah, tie and now set. Oh damn! Didn't think about that. No, that's a good one. I've never been a fan of now set, but. If you're playing a Narset deck, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you're not gonna play. You're not gonna play Narset because you you know you're playing Atai. I mean, but yeah, the, the combo is is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's a sweet interaction. Yeah, dig, dig through time, I agree. Claudio basically got uh, pushed out by Deluge. Howdy, Jean. Uh, yeah, the awful guy. Uh, looks, I like the card. We'll have to see. I'm not sure it has a, that control is a good home for it. But it could be, you know, I really like the card. It could be. Yeah, I could see it being uh, being super good in the control deck. It has some potential there. Or maybe Maybe a storm, maybe in some kind of storm decks, like you know, in modern uh, storm usually plays Golden Electromancer and Barrel. So, it has the same line of text as making your instants and sorceries uh, cost one less. But if you're playing a deck full of spells, which you do if you're playing the card, it's also a, a kill on its own. Like it can be yeah, easily be a ten four, so so maybe yeah, maybe the gin the gin has potential, it's for sure. Days and doing and chill dread. doesn't work oh yeah because days and doing ends the turn okay Okay, who can we watch? In the meantime, okay, I didn't know you can yet win, at least. Okay, Ginger is done too.
Mm. Is Dominaria legal yet? Yes, it is. At least online. I don't know about uh, real life. But online sets become legal as soon as their uh, as the pre release is done, I think. I mean, we're playing, uh, yeah, we're playing one Dominaria card that I in, uh, and we could register or so in paper too. Okay. Runa's Vortex, what is that? Oh yeah, you know, we talked about it. Uh, Airtie just looks better in that role. And unless you're specifically inter really interested in an unsummon kind of effect, but I'm not sure why you would. I mean, not, not if you're playing control, but maybe if you're playing some blue-black aggressive deck, but even there, if you're playing a blue-black aggressive deck, Airtie, it's a uh, it's really good tempo, both a 3-2, and destroying one of their things, or stopping one of their spells, it's just, for us, Vortex is just, I don't see how, how it can see, can see play with air tie being a thing. Mm. Okay, it looks like all the streamers are done. SCG Con Columbus Modern. Might be having a problem here. Everybody, it's almost gigantic a little bit. It looked like Pete might have gotten an extra card there on accident, uh, but you know the turn they drew off of the one card for Narsa, he had already drawn a card that turned from Bobble. But it is something that's going to happen in games. It can be very confusing and a lot going on. These players are trying to play quickly as well. You're going to miss small things. That's what Marshall also said. Yeah, that's what I'm just thinking about. Was that? Okay, Doesn't it look like a force to me, but yeah. Marshall cards, like I said, it's a little bit of a challenge to do casting for Marshall. Is that a Dire Reach Sanitarium as well? Yeah, that's Marshall. a powerful card set. Yeah. Now you're throwing a card every turn. Yeah, this, was, this was something that popped up early when this first, uh, Dark that first got printed. I remember seeing some control decks that were doing this before Dave's undoing was even thrown into the deck. Here you go, Jack of Yeah, yeah. We need to draw a card, but you don't, you don't need to do that. You just have to discard it. So it may have looked odd, since he drew a card after discarding, that was his bottle trigger at the beginning of the Do you have all foreign cards? Uh, yeah, I'm playing uh, yeah, all Japanese. Non-foil now. So an expensive, 
non-foil Japanese is uh, not so expensive. It's, I would say, it depends on the cards really. Some cards just cost the same price and uh, a regular English one. Some are expensive, especially the old ones, but I've got most of the old ones already. So now it's mostly new, new cards and It's a bit more expensive, but I would say that will maybe 20% more expensive than uh, regular English cards overall. I don't know if that's correct. Next weekend, big modern event and legacy event in Bologna too. Yeah, Wiki uh, told us on the chat earlier at the fourth season. And at uh, yeah, super reasonable price too. I mean, more than reasonable. Damn, I, uh, I think he said the main event was 25 euros. I mean, are, are there any prizes uh, with such an entry fee? Yeah, looks like this game is done. What's the score? Which game is it? Is it game one? Yeah, game looks done. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know which game which game it is. Do you prefer blue black over blue white? Um, I would say so, yeah. Today there is a no band tournament. What does that mean, JV Mage? No, no ban? Like what you can play? Do you mean modern with no ban or? Or are all the... Or can you still play it? Modern with no ban card? Okay, I don't even remember what's, what's banned. They have to. Oh, and Gad plays it too, okay. 
Might probably check it out uh, if we have some time next round. It looks like uh, yeah, round three is starting. And did you see my band list? No, I did not. My key. Okay, playing in Daniel Echo is so regular. Always plays Murktide in Modern. I think I've always seen him play Phoenix in Pioneer, which would make sense. Hmm. I mean, not that they're necessarily playing Phoenix. I think that's on the draw. That's a keep. Are they thinking about keeping this? Yeah, we're keeping. You know, we're on the draw. We have an up. We have turn one push also. I've kept this. I think on the play, probably would have nulled. But on the draw. Been hurt too many times. It's it's no reason not to. Not to keep. Mm. Okay, it's one of his cases. Do we want to suspend? I think. No. Could go something like PCs plus crews. I think we want to be able to count it twice. Main deck there's usually not not much kind of magic in Phoenix, so we can just hard cast the whole end of turn if like there's not so much value as we have to sideboard trying to go around spell pierce. White, blue, black, and not blue, white. Uh, I like the, the the black removals, basically. I like the black removals. And I'm not such a big fan of the, I'm not a fan of the right, white removals. Okay, same thing. OK, 
Okay, let's go on number seven. I suppose this... I think it was Cruz has to exile the Phoenix. I was thinking about playing sabotage, but uh, okay. Yeah, that sucks. Double, yeah, I didn't think about that. Iteration plus cruise, like if we had kept the double, we get, well, uh, we are definitely saying no to one of them. Okay, so actually. If I played sabotage the first the turn before, this would have the uh, darkness. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Mm. I don't know, game one against Phoenix is usually really tough. Yeah, the upside of not foretelling is was, was countering twice in case uh, they go PCs plus crews or PCs like they had all spells, imagine they draw land. Yeah, they, maybe they can play PCs plus crews. Okay, we're almost dead. We have to draw Field of Rune plus Extinction Event. Yeah, I would say Phoenix is not a good matchup. Like it's one reason for and one thing where blue white uh, uh we'll see. I haven't played that many hers, but uh we'll see if we draw it if uh If it is good enough at containing the graveyard. Mm. Okay. 
Oh hey, what's the Sphinx? What the Sphinx revealed? Sorry, I missed your comment. Air tie, yeah, we talked about air tie. No, I would say the card is pretty good. I it, it's a good thing that you're getting a 3-2 and they're getting a card. It, it makes the card better. Like, otherwise, the tempo of the card would be terrible. Or mana, kill or three, kill one thing, or corner one spell. But, uh, impacting the board at the same time is what makes the card uh, actually good. Mm. Okay, maybe when Thought Seize, maybe when Reversal, I've usually found Trespasser too slow. Don't think we want Zarathan. We could... Oh yeah, I'm killing Gilo Hogs. Uh, well, I think... Well, I'm gonna keep two event. Yeah, two push, one Soul Shatter. Need one last cut. Maybe another push. I got the play. Maybe not, maybe play two, kill them, make these appear. Let them go first. Do that. No cling to dust versus Phoenix. Um, uh, I haven't been impressed with the cling to dust, at least as a main deck card. And as a sideboard card, I think Hearse is just much more efficient. But cling, cling to dust is never taking them off treasure cruise. So uh Kalitas in the sideboard. I said Kalitas. I tried it, but I haven't been impressed basically. I just found it good against Mono Red. But except there, it did not shine. Like, not good against red black. Against mono green, I can easily go over the top. Plus, extinction event exile anyway. And fail push isn't very good against them. Or you have. So I'm just. Uh... I mean, what, what what's your case for playing Caritas? Where, where would you bring it in? Oh, people of the North set version of Blue Black. Uh, I wasn't aware there was a Blue Black version of, uh, I mean, the North set version of Blue Black. So. No, Gavoni Jack, I, I know what uh, Kalitas does. I have read the card. What I'm asking is which matchups in which matchups would you play the card? Would they have played pieces of the puzzle if they had it? Probably not, so... 
Probably not for terror. Wait, we'll just cycle the shark. Plus, you know, we tend to have some uh, wine elves dying around, sometimes of Narset or Chandra. Tapping out here is risky. Oh, Narset days and doing was blue black before it was blue red. Okay, did not see that. Good versus sacrifice. Yeah, maybe good versus sacrifice, but sacrifice is really fringe. And from my experience anyway. Especially on the on the challenges. Avoid shadow split with sabotage. Mm. Yeah, that's something that uh, that could be done. But uh, yeah, the question is, yeah, is it is it worth it? I think I agree. Probably not. Only really matters against Phoenix. Well, I suppose no, not only against Phoenix, but are you going to be playing standard at all? Uh, no, haven't uh, haven't played standard for a long time. Like I'm not playing arena anymore. I don't like the... Uh, okay, should we kill that? I think we should. Not given the content of our hand. In the ice is the uh, is a very real threat, so we have to hope they don't have uh, don't have uh, their uh, crews. Yeah, that sucks. But yeah, standard, no, it's not. Yeah, Magic Online seems like it's not a platform for standard. And uh, I don't like the way priorities are handled on Arena. Always giving away the content of your hand. Especially if you if you're trying to play in a reactive manner. Okay, seven cards, no lands. I think I like uh, we're telling here. Mm. 
given the shape of the game. Probably don't have anything too scary they can force through. And, uh... Okay, looks like a lightning hacks. Itching a phoenix, I imagine. Exiling the Phoenix, so they really want to be able to counter. Is it good here? Try to sabotage. No, I don't think I want to. Well, Shadow could be good. Yeah, Shadow could be really good here. And there's the FPS, but if they're counting on dispute, yeah. Shadow could have been real good, that's true. Yeah, maybe multiple hearse is a not the way to go. About this matchup, and not not that was a good way anyway. But uh, yeah, fact they can answer it with a braid. Yeah, the spirit plus pierce. Okay. Yeah, I suppose we can bounce it. Yeah, I could whole thought about it, but it just doesn't... Uh... Or any blocker on their side. Doesn't work. Worst case scenario, they can tr just trade with the Drake. So.
It looks like this is the end. Fortunate, no. And Phoenix is really hard. It's probably the worst matchup of the deck. The game one, what they're doing. I feel like I always lose, regardless of whether I play blue black or blue white. I think it's slightly better for blue white after sideboard because we have rest in peace. I feel like it's not a good matchup. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. Yeah, maybe the hearse plan. Thing is, hearse is, I uh, feel, is what you want against, against the Grease Fang decks. And go blank. It's just a temporary solution, you know. Okay, basically I have to top that extinction event. Could scry upkeep. Giving us a better chance of drawing it. I think I like that. Can look at two extra cards, but we lose if they have Pierce or Dispute. Mm. No, given they're not doing much else, it's... I think there's a really solid chance they have counter magic, so... No, I'll just draw. No, okay. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know, the sequence on turn 4, 5, only play 1 a braid, I think maybe we are, we just had to be a braid for our hearse, we just had a, I think we'll, we'll basically lose on the first treasure cruise, you know, it's where things, uh, it's where the wheels come, come off, like, they get two extra cards, gives them the resources to resolve a drake, to force a drake through counter magic. So we basically lose on the first treasure cruise. I think I played it right though, not foretelling. Behold, playing negate instead of sabotage. Okay, well, 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 this is the end then, one, two, damn, I'm not if we had lost two. Mm. So, would I change anything? Yeah, maybe the suggestion of playing indulgence. Instead of art or just one art, one indulgence. Maybe, yeah, because I, I was, I discarded it because I did not want to play. I 
I think behold the believers is really important. Like both behold and deluge to but you want that many <laughs> divination kind of effects. But I could try indulgence. Uh, yeah, one long indulgence in this part of the uh, art or something, and then what about the mana base? I think it was good. I was worried that Ottawara should be an island, that maybe between Drone Catacomb and Castle Ventress, there's just not that many lands that makes them come into play untapped. I think I like the rest. Sideboard. Yeah, I suppose there's no good way to go about the Phoenix matchup. But maybe go blank is a better way to fight them, so... One year, go back to one hearse and one or two go blanks. Didn't get to try Zara's son. But I wasn't planning of uh, bringing it in uh, that many matchups, so could find some room there. Like Gear Hulk, tried blue white with Gear Hulk and Thirst for Knowledge. Yeah, I played some Gear Hulk. In Esper 2 with Vanishing Verse, and uh, yeah, I agree, I like Gear Hulk too. It feels like this is, yeah, this is a really impactful play. This is what you, yeah, what you want to have against Red Black, against Mono Green, Gear Hulk for kind of magic or card drawing or. Our spot removal, it's a. Uh, I agree, I like Gear Hulk too. Except against blue decks. Okay, okay, well. Mm. Yeah, that was short. Well, at least. Um, the good news is, is that uh, I have some more time <laughs> for doing other things for my Sunday. So, well, as short as it was, I hope you enjoyed the, the stream. Uh, I'll upload the a video on YouTube tomorrow with some timestamps mm. and uh, yeah with that uh, I wish you all a good rest of your day and uh, we'll see who we can raid uh, I suppose we'll raid Ginger since we're playing Pioneer yeah Okay, uh, what's the channel? Here it is. I think for the moment, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, gibberish uh, <laughs> looking link because you need a certain threshold of subscribers for them to give you a, a real link. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, see you later, chat. Raid. Misplaced danger. Okay. Take care.